In this paper, we present a method for generating approximated orthogonal facade textures. The first stage of our approach is structure from motion based on a set of perspective photographs of a building. The structure from motion module provides a sparse 3D point cloud of the scene. Note the dominant facade plane. In the next step, we fit a plane into the sparse point cloud. We can project the images from the cameras onto the plane. In order to specify the facade extent, we introduce user interaction, which allows for easy adjustment of the boundaries. Now we compose the facade image by sampling color values from optimal shots. Here, each color indicates a different shot considered as optimal for the particular region. In order to improve the quality, we allow the user to interactively modify the result. In this way, it is possible to choose different source photographs from particular regions. Sources from different shots are combined in a gradient domain in real time on the GPU. Here, we see the eraser brush that brings the color information from the next optimal shot into the front. Now we see the growing brush that begins in a region of one shot and propagates its color information over the others. A further feature of our method is the automatic removal of outliers based on the projection of the structure from motion 3D points. Note the occlusion mask imposed by the footprints of the projected points. The points belong to the tree in front of the cameras. By including this information into the choice of the optimal cameras, we reduce the occurrence of the obstacles. Fine corrections can still be done interactively. We now show the brushing process in high speed. Note that also lens flares can be removed by this method. The entire process for this complex case takes approximately 7 minutes. Here we can see the final result. Another feature of the method is the incorporation of the geometry of occluders into the scene. Note the presence of the shop in front of the cameras. We allow the user to specify the occluding geometry by adding simple shapes, like a cuboid. By looking through the shots, the user can adjust the boundaries of the shape by using a simple interface. Note the example of the occlusion mask of the current shot. If we take the geometry into account, the shop is automatically removed from the final image. Fine corrections can still be done interactively. This is the result after two minutes of interactive post-processing. Thank you for your attention.